What sounds better, 8 billion or 8 trillion? 8.7 billion is what Tesla presented yesterday in the earnings call and before with their earnings release for the last quarter, which are amazing, outstanding, fantastic numbers. So I'm blown away, I'm, I'm pumped, I'm just very excited. But I'm even more excited about the opportunity in autonomous driving. And ARK Invest was presenting yesterday that the equity market in autonomous driving alone is worth $8 trillion. And guess what? Tesla is the leader. And everybody who has watched the videos in the last days will confirm that. But before we watch that and go into the videos, listen to ARK Invest. Um, but I think you know, the, the long-term story with Tesla here, which is really what you have to pay attention to. So at ARC, we're long-term investors is, you know, we, we saw all these amazing announcements at Battery Day. Um, they're cutting their costs by over 50% over the next three years. Uh, they're cutting the prices of their vehicles. They're just making it even harder for competitors to keep up. Um, and I think that's just going to continue to keep happening here um, with the competitive dynamics. Uh, so tonight on the call, uh, we're really looking forward to hearing more about full self-driving and their autonomous plans. Um, we think that's the largest market opportunity ahead of Tesla. Um, you know, autonomous driving could displace about um, eight trillion worth of enterprise value in the public equity markets today. This is very disruptive. Um, so, so it's it's key to be a leader here, and, and we think Tesla is eight trillion dollars. I mean, I can't even imagine eight billion dollars, but eight trillion dollars is really next level. And Tasha Kini has a good reason why she believes this is going to be just by equity in the equity market, a business of eight trillion, because ARK Invest is very much different to other analysts in terms of how they do their homework and how they calculate. It's just a group of people who understand certain markets very well and they come together in order to share their thoughts and their knowledge and their expertise, which is, we have to admit that, absolutely not the case with anybody else. All other analysts are automotive analysts. And as we heard yesterday in the earnings call, there's probably an overlap. I mean, Elon said that an overlap in between automotive companies and Tesla of around 10%. And this is just due because the vertical integration of Tesla is amazing. But let's go back to automotive driving and the market here. A trillion is just blowing everybody away. And let's imagine for a second it's happening. Tesla is going to be the leader what is going to happen then? A leader has usually 20 to 30 percent of that market and you can, you know, take 8 trillion times 20 percent or 30 percent and then you know the incremental value in the stock of Tesla. This is just mind-blowing.
The most important difference and the reason why Tesla is going to be, in my opinion, the clear leader here is vectoring. This is a strange name and a lot of people are confused about that. So let's talk about what it means. Vectoring is nothing else or a vector is nothing else than a mathematical description of an object in a room. So you have a formula describing a vehicle driving and you may say, well, so what? We have HD maps and we have LiDAR, which is much more uh, precise. Yes, you have LiDAR and it's much more precise, but what you do not have is you are unable to predict over time how an object is going to move and you are relying on maps and maps are static regardless how often you load them. The world is changing as we speak. Go out to your street and you know think about how you left it and how it looks right now. And maps can be helpful, but maps won't solve the situation of driving. There's a reason why us humans have two eyes and with vision, we are anticipating in a room in an environment what is going to happen next and where the risks are. And exactly that is something Tesla is able to do with the vectoring system because that system is like us humans thinking and imagining situations almost. In other words, vectoring is able to see literally areas that, they c that you can't see with the cameras of your car even. So how is that possible? Well, vectoring is calculating how the world should look like based on the situation right now. Simply because you put frame after frame after frame over time, you can see how objects are moving and you can, you know, anticipate where they are going to move towards. And based on that, with a, you know, strong computer, you can decide there's going to be an, you know, impact. And because of that, we can even calculate when this impact is going to happen. And based on that, we can do actions right now. In other words, early enough to avoid dangerous situations. And this makes a huge, huge difference. People are saying, well, bird's eye view, so what? My car already has bird's eye view. But no, nobody has bird's eye view based on vectoring. And this makes a huge difference. And the opportunities in the, I would say, new technology in terms of full self-driving, autonomous driving, driving assist system is tremendous. Insane. Completely did it by itself. Completely. Wow. That is Wow, look at this. Slowing look down. And then it seamlessly transitioning into the left hand turn lane. <sighs> going, going. Wow. wow. Oh, that's awesome. And that this is awesome. Be any better. And no lines on this residential no road. Yet it's navigating it perfectly. Well, if this is just the core of it and the holy grail in terms of vectoring, why is nobody else doing that? Well, number one is you need the data and Tesla is collecting data from 1 million vehicles every day on our roads, which is amazing. So nobody has the amount of data to do that. Secondly, um, a lot of engineers are trying to solve situations like that with a sensor because they believe if we just know the distance, we can anticipate how far it is and we're going to be fine. But the reality is you have to, you know, almost program a system like the human brain in order to anticipate all crazy and, you know, nutty situations that are happening in our roads. The world is a messy place. Everything is changing all the time. Therefore, you need to have a system that is anticipating situation and able to collect data and, you know, calculate be because of the 2D, 3D situation world we are in, three dimensions, a fourth dimension, which is the time. And based on that, anticipate what's going to happen and do the right actions early on in order to avoid a risky situation. And you won't solve that with a nice sensor. Otherwise, us humans would have a sensor like ultra sensor, like a LiDAR sensor. We don't. And there's good reason for that because it's not 
really required. A variety of other reasons have convinced me that Tesla is leading besides that I'm using Autopilot and Navigate on Autopilot myself. But the more important part is what is to come and the base how the system has been programmed and designed, which is fundamentally different to everything I've seen before in the market, which is convincing me that Tesla is going to be a leader and who has not done the calculation yet, 8 trillion times 20% is 1.6 trillion in equity value, which is plus 400% of the current equity value that Tesla has, which is today exactly 400 billion.